Hello, my first graders. Today we're working on lesson 6.10 in our Go Math book. That is page 385. So if you're not on page 385, pause the video, find that page. Hit play when you're ready. All right. It says, how many shells are there? Okay, so Heidi has collected all these shells, right? So we need to see how many she has. Instead of counting them all the way through one at a time, that would take a really long time. We need to see if there's going to be any groups of 10. So let's see. Hmm, what if we count across? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hey. So this is a group of 10. Guys, you can just watch this. You don't have to do anything. Then this is the same amount, isn't it? Right? Same pattern of shells. That's another group of 10. And this would be another group. Do you see how we're seeing the groups? Right? If this first row, if we counted 10, then all these rows have 10 in them. Okay? As we go... Yep, almost there. Now, wait a minute. This last row, am I going to make a group of 10? Is there 10 here? No, there's not, right? It stops here at the blue one. We still would need the yellow, pink, green, right? All over again. They don't have them, so we can't circle this row. So if this is a row of 10, right? Anytime you have 10, we think of it like this, right? Group of 10. So let's see, how many groups of 10 do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have 10 groups of 10. How many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, four ones. So that means she has 104 shells. We had 100 up here and then four more, 104. 10 groups of 10 and four by themselves. So anytime you see groups of 10, that helps you figure out what the number is, makes it faster. All right, look at the top. 11 tens is 110, okay? And we know that, right? It looks like this. If I put my TO chart around it, I have 11 tens no ones. But together that number is 100. Let me read it 110. Because we know this group right here, right? 10 of them together is 100. And then you have plus 10 more is 110. 12 tens is 120. Okay. And look, if I put my TO chart around that, we see 12 tens zero ones. That makes the number 120. So if I count out 10 of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we know that 10 of them right, is 100. So 110, 120. And we know, or 10, 20. So 100 plus 20 is 120. So that's what we're going to be doing today is using our our law our tens and our ones to show the number okay and they even have it separated for us notice see, they have the 10 together and then this by itself to show us hey if that's a hundred i could count on or actually let me show you on this one that's 100 right this right here see how it's separated that's 100 and then if i count on this is 10 11 so it's 100 plus 11 is 111. We also know that it's 111, right? Because we have our tens and our ones. 11 tens, 10, 11, and one one. That gives us 101. Right, so look at this one. We have a group of 10 tens, 
10 plus one more is 11. 11 tens, two ones, 112. And see how we can see that's the group of 100 right there? And then here we have 10, 11, 12 by itself. So 100 plus 12 is 112. Okay, take a look at number three. I want you to try this. Think about how many tens and how many ones do you have? Write your number. Hit play when you're ready. Okay, you're hitting play, that means you're ready. So we had 11 tens and three ones. So when we read this number, it's 113, okay? 113. Here's our 100, and then we have 13 over here. 10, 11, 12, 13. 113. All right, try number four. How many tens? How many ones? Hit play when you're ready. All right, you should be ready. So we had 11 tens. Four ones, right? There's our hundred. One hundred, and then we had 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One hundred, 14. See that? One hundred, 14. All right, my first graders, I'm going to have you work on five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, this whole row. You're Writing your numbers. Think, so think about your tens and your ones. I also want you to try to read that number when you're finished writing it. Hit play when you're ready. All right, so you should have your answer in for all of these and you should have tried to read it. Let's see how you did. All right, 11, 11 tens. Five ones, we would say 115. There's our 100. Here's our 15, 115. This was 116. Okay, here's our 100. And then there's our 16. Okay, 11, 10, six ones. Number seven, 100. 17, we had 11, there's 11 tens, seven ones. We read it as 117. All right, we're gonna skip eight and nine, but we're gonna look here at number 10, okay? So look through, a little different, right? Look what's missing. There's no ones, is there? So let's see, how many tens do we have? Well, look, that's a group of 10, right, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 groups of 10s. How many ones is there? None, so we need zero. So let's see if we can read this. That's a group of 10, right? 100, 10, 20, 120. 120, see it, 120, okay? So just remember, if there is no ones, we need to put a zero in, okay? That holds that place there so that it's not 12, but it's 120, all right? Let's take a look. I'm gonna start here in the middle, okay? With the math on the spot one. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. How many tens? Well, look, it's separated, isn't it? But that's okay, it doesn't matter. Start with your tens first. How many tens are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven tens. How many ones is there? One. So that makes the number 100, 
100, 11, okay, 111, that's 100, 110, 111. All right, I would like you to try these two. Remember, it doesn't matter where they are. Start with your tens first and then your ones. Okay, pause, hit play when you're ready to check. All right, if you're hitting play, that means you are ready to check your work. So let's look at our first one. Okay, hopefully it didn't trick you, right? We start with our tens first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There were eleven tens, and there are four ones. So we made the number one hundred fourteen. Right, look at this one. How many tens were there? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tens. How many ones are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, wait a minute. Did you see that? These two, they equal ten. This one. And this one, together, they make a long, don't they? Another 10. Hmm, I wonder if this one tricked you too. So, we don't have 10 tens. Now, when we look at this, that gives us 11 tens. Because these five and these five are 10. They give us another long. You put them together, you get your 10. All right. Now, how many ones do we have by themselves? Three. Okay. So, this is 11 tens and three ones. That makes 113. Okay. And if we looked at this, right, we had 10 tens. So that's 100. And then look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 100 plus 13 is 113. There's two ways of looking at that. All right. This might have tricked you. We probably should have put the math on the spot on this one because <laughs> it was the harder one. All right. If you need to pause, you can. If not, we're going to turn to the next page. All right. Choose a way to solve. Draw or write to explain. Joe collects toy cars. He can make 11 groups of toy cars. How many toy cars does Joe have? So, hmm, let's look at this again. Joe collects toy cars. He can make 11 groups of 10. Hey, when we have groups of 10, what do they look like? Me, this little guy. So we have 11 groups of 10. So how many of these do we need to draw? 11, right? It says he has 11 groups of 10. So that means he has 11 of these. One, How many toy cars does he have? Well, hmm, does he have any ones by themselves? He doesn't. So how many did we make of these? 11. So we have 11 tens. Any ones? Nope. So we put our zero in. We made the number 110. Right, let's look at the next one. Cindy collects buttons. She can make 11 groups of 10 buttons. So again, groups of 10, right? She can make 11 groups of 10. So she has 11 of these. And one more group of seven buttons. Hmm, does this make a seven? 
this makes up? No. So we would need, she has seven of them. They would be these, wouldn't it? Right? So let's draw that picture. 11 groups of 10. So let's make our 11 tens. And then she has a group of seven buttons. So seven isn't going to look like this, is it? Right? No. This is only a group of ten. So if we have seven, we have to use loose ones. So we're going to make seven loose ones. Okay. So... We have 11 groups of 10 and seven ones. So what number does she have? Well, how many tens do we have? How many tens do we make? 11. How many ones do we have? Seven. So what number is that? 117. All right. So let's try this one. I'm going to see if you can do this one. Lee collects marbles. He can make 11 groups of 10. 11 groups of 10. And has two marbles left over. So remember, that means no group for these guys. How many marbles does Lee have? So draw your picture. 11 groups of 10 two left over, two by themselves. How many does he have? Pause, draw your picture and solve, hit play when you're ready. All right, you're ready to check. So you should have made 11. Plus two left over. What number is that? Well, 11 tens. Two ones, 112. All right. Take a look at the bottom. Finish the drawing to show 119. Okay. So finish the drawing means this drawing is not finished. It's not complete or it's not right. We need to think, what do we need to add to this drawing to make it better. So let's see, in the number 119, how many tens is there? 11 tens, right? If I was to put the TO chart, 11 tens. So let's see, does this have 11 tens? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So it has 11 tens, is that right? Yes. How many ones is it supposed to have? Nine. Let's look at our ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? No. So it only has six. So if we add one more, that makes seven. Another makes eight. And another makes nine. So we had, let's see if we have nine now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now the picture's right. It says right to explain. We needed nine ones. Okay, that's what was wrong. Nine ones. They didn't have nine ones, so we needed nine ones. All right, my first graders, you are going to practice on your personal math trainer.